Welcome, this is a game brought to you by Piece of Pie Software and is available for free download. Simply find a link in the video description to the advertisement video which will contain the link to the free download. So if you're interested in playing this game for yourself, take a look, and we hope you enjoy. Right. Wow! Wow! And finally... Wow! It does scroll, by the way, the map. It scrolls horizontally and vertically. Northeast. Pretty much exactly northeast. Hopefully. Oh no, a little bit norther than east. But pretty much. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry for this awful place. But we're done. You can be happy. Magical powers, go! Whoa, what? Uh oh. Oh. Well, that was weird and random and out of nowhere-ish. That's actually never answered. But I'll answer it here and now. Well, gosh, Boggy, you could at least wait for us in the reception. Guess we're gonna go down to the darn basement again. I guess I'll just answer it now. Um, there is no answer. Dun dun dun. Yeah. So down here in the basement, what is the meaning of this chalk arrow on the floor? Follow the arrows. They lead you to where you need to go. Or is this all just a trick? Maybe the magical powers teleported you to some other dimension? I never understood these weird random dead ends. Especially when turning back takes you somewhere else. Sorry, I was just turning the fan towards myself, it's too hot. Because we've been in the desert. No, in real life. Hey, look, what's that? Boggy's toolbox, so, you know, nothing interesting. My toolbox is very interesting, thank you very much, Kins. Hey, Paul, got that coconut? Certainly have. But first of all, what's with those chalk arrows? Oh, I'm having a brain fart today. I keep forgetting my way back here. Right, okay, then. Well, Bogster, here's that coconut you so badly needed. Oh, yes, thanks, man. Ah, why are you hitting it against that thing? To get the milk inside it, of course. Ah, yummy. Are you telling me? You just wanted it so you could drink the milk? Coconut milk is my favourite. I needed maximum energy to finish my work on this. Face. Hey, what's wrong? Ah, violence. Ow. Punched him five times. Okay, it's finally done. A small ATFG. A what? Absolutely terrific freaking gun. Anti teleport field generator. Oh, yeah, of course. Thanks, Boggy. Advg. Oh, by the way, is this big one finished too? No, not yet. I need another coconut first. Mm hmm. Don't worry, I'll get one from the shop myself this time. Oh, that's okay then. Well, see you later. Time to make Alcadera happy and disable that portal. Also known as Blemish. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Convenient. By the way, I know I forgot to turn music back on again. But there's no music in the basement anyway. So, no. God, we gotta go back to the desert now. Don't worry, we're done there. But the trouble is, the thing hasn't even recharged yet. The, the creation device. So no. You have to do this first. Oh, not again. Hmm, am I ready to close this portal? We won't be able to come back to this place again. Close it. Close it. That should do it. Let's link to this portal. And set... Pardon me, and set to deactivate. Once you go through, it will close the portal and then explode. I'm glad we won't even have the option of coming back to this place. Oh, me too. You 
you would be any second now. Ooh! Hooray! One less portal and one more employee. The next portal doesn't seem to be here yet though. I guess let's come back later. As in, so the anti teleport per generator works. As in later. Yep, you could go in now if you really want to, but no. No, I don't. Back to Pops again. Luckily, the next place isn't the annoying place where you have to steal from every darn enemy. But that's coming up after. There are six battles in the next, as in the place after the next place that you can steal from. Blimey. Bloody! Right, so you want to get something good? Would you believe it? I got the glitchy sword. That's a unique item that can only be gotten from this. Glitchy sword. It's not as strong as the pop sword, but it does infect. So, sacrificing 20 strength to infect things when you attack them, very worth it. I will have that, please. Of course, trouble is, I mean, I was saying this playthrough isn't for, like, to be overpowered. Like, you know, I don't want to grind to get tons of rainbow aprons to halve everyone's MP costs and just make everything easy. Because I want to show people, like, how the game is supposed to be and how to do it under the circumstances. But, you know, it won't be too different. I wonder what Boggy's up to now that the ATFG is in finishing stages. Oh. Where is he? Slacking up. Oh. What's that? Was that a secret passage? At least it's well hidden. A well hidden one. The monkeys surely won't find it. Remember that for later. I wonder where that secret passage leads to. Remember that for later. Very important. Very important. You'll find out much later. Yeah, much. Well, not much. Maybe ten parts. I don't know. More than that. Bloody hell, Paul. Your game's not that short. Right. Let's get out of here. But yeah, as I was saying, like... The glitchy sword, it's just higher attack power, basically. Makes battles a bit easier, but you still get the general idea of what battles are going to be like. And I can still give you strategies. You know? You do. You do. You do. You do. Yeah. Ah, the fudge. What a random... But no! What is this place? Sorry. I actually recorded up to the next boss battle and it wasn't going well. So I decided, you know what, re-record this because I wasn't explaining it very well anyway. It's supposed to be a walkthrough and a playthrough. I'm supposed to help. But first, I forgot. Go to the village of food. If you've talked to the horse every time that I've shown you. Talk to the horse now. You did it! What did I do? I'm sorry. You talked to me! Well, yeah, we wouldn't be having this conversation if I didn't. I mean, I've travelled to many places just waiting to meet you again. And you've talked to me every time. They were all you? Why have you been stalking me through time and space? For so long I've been waiting for one who can reveal my who I can reveal my story to. And one worthy of receiving my power. Power, eh? Gimme! Only if you will hear my story first. Anything for power. The lights dim dramatically. It was a cold, stormy night. Oh. A young girl was walking home from school. Oh. That was scary. She was soaked through and decided to seek shelter under a bridge. What does this have to do with power? BE QUIET! Sorry. But under that bridge, a mysterious glowing man emerged from the darkness. Hmm. The man told the girl continuing her existence this way would interfere. Interfere with what? The girl wondered. The man told her of coming events and that she would cause them to unfold wrongly. The man apologised, then told the girl that he must act and save the future. 
With a wave of a hand, the man transformed the girl into another creature. Ah! Ah! That creature was a horse! Oh my god! Yeah. Wait, I don't get it. Me! I am the horse! I can see that. Every horse is a horse. I was the girl... I was the girl from the story I just told. Oh, I get it. Slow bump. You were the girl who was turned into a horse. Yes! I went to your school. I was in your classes. I had a huge crush on you. So that's why you're always acting attracted to me. See, there was a reason all along. It's not just bestiality mailheads. I just don't understand. What events could I be causing to unfold wrong? What could an innocent, love-struck young girl do to mess up the world? I think I know. The man probably meant the events surrounding me. If somebody revealed their love for me, it might cause me to be distracted. That could then delay me just enough to make me fail to stop Bill Gates. Then I won't interfere until you're done with what you're doing. Can I please be turned back into a human girl now? I guess that's a no. Wait, did the man mention his name at all? No, but he said he was some kind of detective who travels time and space. Could it have been him again? Don't worry, once I'm done with my quest I'm sure you'll be turned back. Sounds like a certain man I've met before and he's not evil. He just guides fate in the right direction or something like that. Such seriousness. Well, I certainly hope so. This is quite aggravating. Anyway, you mentioned power before? Oh, yes. One good thing about being a horse, it means I can talk to other horses. I've made a few friends and they'd protect me with their lives if they had to. Now, I now give you that power. Call upon them in times of need and they will arrive in a very sneaky way. Trojan horse. Awesome. It's about time I get a new ability. Very cleverly named too, since Trojan Horse is a type of virus. I bet the only reason horses are in this game is to give me a power with that name. Hey, stop breaking the fourth wall! Oops, I mean world, not game. This isn't a game. Anyway, moving on. Thanks, horse. Please, call me Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca. I'll put it to good use and end this adventure quickly. I'm sure the man will change you back. Thank you. Good luck, Paul. Oh! Good luck. Enjoy the power of horses. I will. So yeah. It took me quite a long time to remember. You could have gotten this a long time ago. Before going to Chukaboo Village, I think. So yeah, quite an idiot, aren't I? Very. But... I suppose now is the time that it really becomes useful. So I am going to use it because, you know, optimal play without going completely out of my way to do stuff. But anyway, here we are. This curtain is like a solid wall, how annoying. Welcome to the House of Music. If you wish to learn the magical musical ways, you must prove your musical understanding. This looks like a job for... me. Go ahead, Mark, what do we have to do? 